Welcome to Open Mind 365. What if 500 years ago someone changed the narrative in our lives? Sitting here right now, would you realize it? What if the new narratives being designed today are no better than the old? We all buy into the dogma presented to us because we just don't know any different. We've bought into it so much that it has affected our well-being to the point many of us struggle with depression, anxiety, extreme cases of hiding, poor eating habits, poor judgment, confusion, violence, and undeniable cases of victimhood. We don't know that there's a way to overcome it, so this buy-in causes a lot of us to drift through our days. We think there isn't anything we can do to improve, so we keep drifting day in and day out. I know we become the best versions of ourselves when we stay open to listening and accepting different ideas, concepts, or explanations. Just because it was never explained or done that way in the past doesn't mean it can't be done or understood differently now. We will review various ways to grow and develop our personal and professional lives. We all could benefit from keeping an open mind 365 days a year. So welcome to Open Mind 365. How do you make decisions? Do you know the steps? If you're having trouble feeling confident in your actions and wish you had an unwavering belief in your decisions, maybe it's time to look at the, your decision-making process. Decisions made impulsively or without care, um, careful thought might not always turn out the way that you hoped that they would. Of course, there's something to be said for instinct and even dumb luck, but what if good decisions were inevitably rather were inevitable rather than occasional. Imagine for a moment how it would feel to know that you're right before you even act. Well, there are steps you can go through when making a decision, so let's take a look at those. Start with an open mind. Do you automatically have all the answers? Probably not. Some of your beliefs might be biased, faulty, or even illogical. Accepting that you might have things to learn is the first and most important step to making a decision. And take a step back from everything except for the raw facts in regarding what you're trying to decide. Look at those facts. Do you have all the information you need to be able to make an informed decision? Are there things you need to learn? What about examining the options? Have you considered multiple solutions? Take time to put in the work to gather all the information that you need to be able to proceed with caution, well, caution and confidence. And then once you have some choices in mind, different options that you can choose from, try to imagine how they're going to play out. Sometimes what looks like it might be a great temporary solution, it may not be the best solution for a long term. If you make a certain decision right now, ask yourself if this will be a good decision in the morning. What, if, what about next week or next year? So think about that. And then if you don't have a mentor, perhaps you can find someone you can trust who you can talk to about this. While you might skip this step on the small stuff, it is worth having someone you trust weigh in with their opinion whenever you make a big decision. They might see something that you're actually missing. And then sometimes the hardest part of making a decision lies in making the actual decision. It's tempting to go back over the research a few more times or keep looking for other alternatives. At some point, you're going to need to act. So take your best solution and move forward with it with confidence. You've done all the work. Now comes the part where you have to put this newfound trust in yourself into action. What's the best part? Well, the more you run through this process, the more confident you'll feel about making decisions in the first place. Thank you for listening to Open Mind 365. The target goal is to post a couple shows a week. It will likely be every Monday and Saturday. Please be sure to subscribe to know when new episodes go live. My name is Dee Rizzo, and again, please subscribe to my podcast, and I hope you'll reach out and connect with me on any one of my social media platforms. You can find the links in the descriptions. All right. Well, thanks again for listening and ciao for now.